I wear my waist shaper, if I could, 23 hours a day, even while in the gym training. It's protecting the waist, it keeps my back and my posture a certain way. I'm from a 34 to 19. Woo! Waist training can be super unsafe if it's not done properly. They squeeze the body, and you're gonna catch cardiac arrest, or faint, or die. I'm gonna put the shaper on right on top of this outfit, and I don't mind walking in the street with it because it's black on black. Um, to me, it's not tacky. To me, people actually think that it's a part of my outfit which this is gonna snatch me up, okay? I never used a waist trainer before. Like when I was aspiring to lose weight, to get tight, never did I use it. I had already had abs and I was shredded before I used the waist shaper. So I started waist shaping three years ago. I got the idea from the Brazilian girls. Over here in Miami, you have to go to the Spanish predominant areas to go buy a waist shaper. When I went and found the waist shapers, I was like, oh my God, this is like an entire body contouring world. You can see results in Cindy and Daily. Wow, that's tight. What I wanted to achieve with waist shaping, waist training was not just the illusion of a smaller waistline, but actually getting a smaller waistline and training my body to kind of like keep my stomach small. I'm big, I'm thick, I'm 220 plus pounds. When I started, it was 34. And I started waist shaping and while waist shaping, that's when I was able to achieve 19. So I'm from a 34 to 19 while including dieting, cardio, so on and so forth. That goes hand in hand. This right here, I could wear this all day. Show stopping. How many waist shapers I own? A ton, because I have different types of waist shapers. This is the type of dress that I, nine times out of 10, wear to the airport. I would not mind having my shaper on. I've seen literal bums in the airport. The waist shapers that I use and I toggle between are four, which are small, medium, large and an extra large. I wear my waist shaper, if I could, 23 hours a day, even while in the gym training. So as far as waist shaping, there can be side effects. Shapers, they squeeze the body. You don't wanna go overboard. Oof, what have I been doing? And you're gonna catch cardiac arrest or faint or die. I would not use this for cardio, but I do have a couple different sweatbands. This is one sweatband that I would wear. This is my method. I wear waist shapers when I deadlift, when I squat, because for me, it almost comes in hand like a weight belt. It's protecting the waist, it keeps my back and my posture a certain way. This workout right here is one of the specific waist shaping workouts. It helps your posture and of course, it keeps you tight. When I started waist shaping, I wore it every day. Every day for sure. Some people get addicted to waist shaping to where they create this complex and now they want to surgically remove their ribs. Don't, don't go too far, just let it be fun. Everything needs to be done in moderation. 